back when I was a teenager, you know mm-hmm. how you go running around finding yeah, the spookies, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, there was a place on 27 in Somerset that her dad actually took me to. It was a private farm, and there was this weird cave system there. Strawberry, I think it's in Nancy? Yes! Strawberry Road. Yes! I've heard that name thousands of times. <laughs> Our flash night lights would not shine a foot in front of us, and all you could hear was this weird, like, it was guttural. It, it wasn't water. And I was yeah. terrified. I was I was like 19 mm-hmm. when I went. The whole cave system runs underneath there and it runs through like the whole city and everything. We're also on the, uh, they call it the Kentucky Anomaly, which where it starts the, in Roomford. Yeah, where the platonic belts actually come down. It starts in Roomford right yeah. on the Roomford property. Yeah, oh, actually, it's so weird. <laughs> Rockcastle County, Somerset, Nancy, and then uh, Burnside mm-hmm. are the creepiest f-ing places I've ever been in my life. It's just been too odd in my life that these things have always happened around me. And something about Souls Chapel just started pulling me like crazy. And the fact that I've been there twice and I've refused to go in is one thing. And now I'm, I'm ready to go there. I'm gonna ask these people if we can have permission to go here. Walking to their doom. They're gonna be fine, right? So just to be clear, you met someone on the road on the way to a scary location and now we're following that person. Yes. <laughs> When you what, say it like that. That's what good country people do. He's a Harley man. Okay. You can trust the Harley man. Oh. Oh, is that it? That's the cemetery. I see a cemetery. Oh, wow. I'm actually a little confused because so many things have been said. Why is this place famous? Um... I honestly don't... Cultist homicidal maniacs, long story short. So there are two recorded deaths uh, on site um, of people getting shanked for Jesus. It's been burned down three times and the final blow was 2004 when the teenagers burned it down. A reverend came out of nowhere and decided he wanted to you know, build up a congregation. And there was this old empty church house left over from the Civil War and nobody was using it. So Reverend Little, the first, came and started preaching here. The legend is, for Mr. Reverend Little, is that to fight off demonic forces in the area, killing people, he would sacrifice, he started off sacrificing animals in the name of the Lord. And then, people's cattle and larger animals started going missing. And then a couple years later, people started going missing. Supposedly they came, the the people all out here through Somerset and then back haulers up and through here and stuff, came down here, locked everybody in this church and burned it down the first time. The second story is, is that his son moved off to another county came back and rebuilt the church and started preaching again in the 60s. Uh, And that's when they started the whole satanic cult thing about this church. And they built another church over there to uh, be the opposition and to defy and tell people not to come here because these people were not logical. They weren't of the Lord, things like that. And then it got burnt down again there are newspaper articles about people being murdered and sacrificed here. And then if you start digging around in articles before 1920, you'll start seeing all the articles about people dying in the congregation here. So, but they were, they always died of like mysterious circumstances. And then uh, there, I think there was like four that I counted that just went missing. Feeling wise, dry mouth. Um, 
feel like there's some oogie kind of unmentionables going on here. There's like people left bones. Like offering kind of things? I don't know. There's bones. Oh yeah. What kind of bone is that? Everybody in here primarily died in the month of June or died in the month of May or died in the month of October. There's very few that died in the winter. There's very few that has died early spring. So June and October, which are planting seasons and harvesting seasons. Huh. Sabbaths. Yep. What was it? Abash the devil stood and felt how awful goodness was. That quote. Abash the devil stood and felt how awful goodness was. It's from the crow. Soul Chapel, folks. Burnt to the ground. Chapel. There is a fuzzy plant, though. And Zeph was bucked. There's fuzzy nettles. Did you really? Outside is the snow everywhere. Not today, Satan. I knew I shouldn't have taken the footage of that haunted leprechaun. We brought a demon back with us. So we are home now. Unfortunately, we had to cut the trip to Danelle's and the Spooky Boo short because the van almost exploded. <laughs> we went in to sleep one night and ran the microwave and started smelling burning that seemed to be coming out of the electrical panel right next to where all the propane sits. So yeah, about five in the morning, we uh, we decided to come home. Sorry I didn't get footage of the van almost blowing up, but uh, yeah, it wasn't a priority at the time. We stirred up all the ghosts and the spooky boos and the aliens and they tried to blow us up. That's what I'm gonna choose to believe. She's in the bathroom listening to this weird garbled speech and the lights go off. Whoa. What the f Did you hear that? There are definitely voices on this. Well, who is talking? It's just awful. <laughs> it's just awful. It's just people didn't make this up. <laughs>